At 10 o'clock tonight, the need for nurses is prompting some hospitals to shell out big bucks to keep their hospitals staffed. Some of the bigger hospital networks might be able to pay top dollar for nurses, mm -hmm. but that's not always the case at the smaller hospitals. Our Michael Lapardi live from United Memorial Medical Center with this story all new at 10 o'clock tonight. Michael? Well, this facility right behind me is one of two facilities that we spoke with today. The other is out in Liberty County, and that regional medical center said that it's offering sign-on bonuses up to $3,000, but says bigger hospitals in the area are offering more than three times that. More than a year into the pandemic, a doctor at Houston's United Memorial Medical Center says some of his nurses have left for higher-paying jobs. Sometimes it's very difficult to compete with this uh um, I call them ridiculous amount of money that they're offering elsewhere. As the demand for nurses grows, Dr. Joseph Varone says smaller community hospitals are struggling to keep up with the pay or perks offered by large hospitals and staffing agencies. It's uh, difficult to be able to pay those kind of, uh, of uh, wages when you are dealing with a lot of uninsured uh, patients and you, you know, you're trying to provide them with the best possible medical uh, care. The chief nursing officer at Liberty Dayton Regional Medical Center says 10 nurses have left since last year to make more money elsewhere. The bigger hospitals are able to offer large sign-on bonuses, whereas little facilities like us, we can't. Emily Ashworth is an ICU nurse at a local facility. From her experience, she says pay is usually the reason nurses leave smaller hospitals. They look at, hey, I have this going on. It would be a blessing for me to be able to go over and do this. She understands smaller places may not have the budget, but also defended the higher wages nurses can earn nowadays. We take risk when we take care of COVID patients. You know, not only that, it's a heavier load. Some facilities don't have the support for the nurses that others have. The chief nursing officer over at Liberty Dayton pointed out that filling these positions did come with challenges even before the COVID pandemic, but the pandemic has just made the situation more difficult. Reporting live tonight, Michael Wilparty, KPRC 2 News. Thank you, Michael.